Hey, Flurbert, Sanne here. So, the fourth part of the Advanced Vehicle System tutorial series, and we're going to finish the game today. Um, I promised to do that, so I'm like, always keeping my promises. So, what uh, what have we done so far? We, we created a landscape, and we got a, a spline road going on, and that's it, basically. Now we're going to add a AI spline path. Um, I said we add a AI spline path. There you go. Fourth, Han. Okay, let's zoom in a bit and see what's happening. Let's add a AI spline path by dragging it into our level. There you go. It's it's really that easy. Um, I don't know what went wrong. And now move it up a bit. Doesn't really matter because the spline path only looks at like the X and the Y coordinates so C doesn't matter so you know what's up now grab the second point on the spline and move it out a bit so you can more easily grab it and then move up to a nice uh, bird's eye view because we have to do it quickly because we're going to finish our game today so no not not too much uh, bragging about uh, how, how, how the route really should look like. If it's close enough, it's good enough. Right? So just... Um, yeah, all I'm doing here is Alt and uh, drag... Uh, drag with the mouse to get uh, a new spline point. Uh, I, I switch here to the top view. Uh, I think that... Mm, Kind of works better, and at the end, don't forget to tick its loop. All right, so uh, what do we have? We have a spline pod. Um, what else? Oh, wait, I was looking at um, um, how do you call that? The comments at the previous video, and then this thing came up, and it says, Oh, nice desert, but I want one of forest to race in, or you can do that. What? What are you talk talking about? I work with Brushify. This is easy. Here, just change the, the, the layer to uh, forest. And then change the procedural uh, trees to green trees, I guess. Uh, green trees. There you go. And one thing I always do on every asset, um, I just open up the folder where the assets are in and then... Click them all and then edit. Edit them all at once and just go to uh, exclude layer, remove procedural and you're good. Uh, why is that? Because if I now hit resimulate, there won't be any r trees on the road. Just like uh, with, the, with the cacti, there weren't any cacti on the road, right? So I guess this is checkmate uh, YouTube comment person. Uh, and I really like it. I do want to move the sun around because uh, because of the look and feel of a forest. I don't really know. It's it's just uh, yeah. Well, most most creative things I do are like I don't really know, but they seem to work in the end. Anyway, uh, I set some vehicles up, and well, I created this path, and they directly know to follow it. So that's uh, really convenient. Um, and to set up a vehicle like this, you just add a vehicle uh, from the from the from the folder, and you go scroll down and hit uh, AI controller two. Uh, yeah, that's it. So let me uh, try to race for a bit. Here we go. I'm going to catch this uh, dumb AI pickup, big uh, Bigfoot. And you can also turn on this uh, simulation data so you know uh, how fast you're going. What? You hit me! Why do you do that? That's that's mean. Don't don't hit me, please. Uh, and he hit me again. Fine. Okay, okay. Um, I gotta work on those skid marks too. But first, let me let me win from this big uh, big truck and there's an ugly car let's be mean to that ugly car because that's okay all right okay 
well, we kind of get the point. We do not want to uh, be boring you guys too much. So, what I said, um, the skid marks. Go to the paint layer, info layer, and add the um, physics material, the dirt physics material. Save, and you're good. You want me to show it? Sure, I will show it. So, there's the vehicle. Just jump in, start driving, and get off the road, and hit the brakes hard, and you see there's a dirt skid marks. Really epic. Uh, so what, what What else is left? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should um, back up a bit and see what we've created. We've created, uh, yeah, well, a, a bag of garbage, actually. But now I think it's time to package it. So um, how do we do that? Just first save everything and then go to uh, your 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 packaging uh, settings uh, that's on the project project settings uh, put in like the the folder for the default game and one more very important box to tick is the uh, only cook content within uh, yeah this one why because uh, if I don't not tick this box uh, it it will be like a huge a huge game it will be 80 gigabytes and nobody has time for 80 gigabytes for a silly game like this um spoiler alert it's quite big nevertheless but there are quite a lot of vehicles and stuff you can do so that's okay i guess um yeah, um, let me copy and paste this. I'm a bit dyslectic. And uh, if you make a typing error uh, over here, then it will not work. And I do not want to repackage this uh, this game again. Um, and by the time you're done watching this, you can go over to uh, sonofleur.itch.io and you can play this epic racing game. It's free and uh, free forever and you can play it. And it's really fun. And I'll be updating it um, maybe sometime in the future when I have like made enough changes to this project and it's uh, yeah it's good to go. So uh, Windows 64 bit, there you go. Um, just make a folder here and uh, just just so you guys can see how it's done. You make a folder, you give it a name. Something like epic racing game. There you go. And you hit save uh, or the, yeah, select folder. And there you go. Now it's packaging. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. This is Flurbert signing out.